Hey, my name is Nick Rivers, and a little while ago, I put out a cover of Taylor Swift's Lavender Haze, and I'm excited to announce that today I have released all of the stems for that track so that you can put them into your own digital audio workstation or DAW, um, just listen to the individual files on their own in something like iTunes, or play with a, play, play around with them in some other sort of uh, environment and uh, see how I put the song together. So... I'm going to show you how you can put these files into Logic Pro X because that's the DAW that I use. Otherwise, when you download these, you can um, use a similar set of steps to import them into your own DAW. Let's get to it. Okay, so first thing you need to do is download the stems from my website. They'll be on my fan store stems page. You'll go there and scroll down and find them. And then the next thing you want to do is open up your digital audio workstation. I'm using Logic. You're going to want to set the tempo to 98. That's what I had for this song. Okay. Then you're going to download those files and put them somewhere that you're going to remember that where they are. I put them on my desktop here. You'll double click on this file and it'll expand into this folder. You're going to double click on that folder. And then you'll highlight all of the tracks and just drag them into your DAW. On Logic, it'll ask you if you want to create new tracks, use existing tracks. You want to create new tracks. Those will all import. You give it a second, and the waveforms will appear. And then you can start to mess around with the tracks. Um, so let's just take a listen here. Here's my acoustic. You can see I hard panned that one to the left. And then I hard panned this one to the right, and that one's quite a bit louder. Okay, and then we can listen to some other things in here, like here's the bass. There we go. And uh, once you purchase this, you'll be able to see all of these different tracks and play around with them however you'd like. This particular song had quite a few different vocal lines uh, because she's got some really thick vocals in that chorus, and I wanted to emulate that a little bit for my version. So when you download these, I really hope that you have fun with them. If you're going to use them for your own song and you're not sure how to credit this because it's partly Taylor Swift's, partly mine, just reach out to me. I'm happy to help you with that. Um, it can be kind of confusing um, because it's Taylor Swift's song, but I made these. and So, yeah, just reach out to me on my contact form on the website if you have any questions about how to use these or how you can use these um, to make sure that it's legal. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and I really hope you enjoy the Lavender Haze stems from Taylor Swift and me. Have a good one.